Well, KPRC 2 Plus highlights outstanding students in our area. And this morning, we want to introduce you to Mejica Patton Carr, a graduating senior from Harmony School of Advancement, also the salutatorian for her class. She's getting a big award, not just ranking among the top in her class academically, but she's also earned the Gold Level Graduating Seniors Award for Ice Skating from the U.S. Figure Skating High School Program Subcommittee. Quite a resume, Mejica. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so great to talk to you. Can you tell me a little bit more, if you would, uh, about this honor, the Gold Level Graduating Seniors Award? What's that all about? Yeah, um, so, well, I started skating when I was around like six years old and maybe around when I was eight, I started testing levels and basically in figure skating, there's a couple of levels where um, figure sk skaters can test in. So I started testing in moves in the field, which is basically like footwork where skaters like try to do more technical elements. And there's eight levels. You start from pre-preliminary and then you go all the way up to senior. And so basically for these past eight years, I think I've been just testing them and then I passed my senior gold moves in the field I think last summer and um, along with that I did like synchronized skating for a couple years in my high school and then competed individually so that kind of was basically the honor and I'm very grateful to have it. A lot of hard work to get you there I, I imagine. I, I'm, I'm hearing that you spend time helping others coaching and and I hear you're involved in a skate therapy program tell me about that. Yeah um, well my coach actually started this program when I was maybe around 13 years old and um, skate therapy is basically where um, skaters like me we volunteer to help special needs students learn figure skating as a form of therapy and it's been a very very nice and just heart journey for me and the skaters I've known them for about like four or five years now so we help them not only in skating but also we can see like a lot of changes in their behavior and their social skills it's just a very amazing program to be a part of and what is it about skating you think that that impacts people People the way it does for me it's just like I I usually just feel free it's like a therapy for me where I can just skate I feel like I'm flying like you know humans can't fly but when you're on the ice you can jump and you spin and then you're basically flying and I feel like it's just it's just a outlet of like creativity for a lot of people a lot of skaters that I know they'll use skating as their own coping forms in anything in their life and I think it's also just fun really like mm -hmm. I think figure skating is just really cool. <laughs> there's something about it. I, I mean, uh, I skated a little bit growing up, played a little bit of ice hockey, and then there's just something about being out on that cold surface and gliding across with the, you know, the wind in your face, right? Oh, yeah. And this Texas heat, it's a really nice thing to go back to in the summer. <laughs> on your resume, you were president of the school's, is it HOSA team? Is that the health organization? Yes, yes. Um, me and my team, we're doing a, an event called Community Awareness, and we're going to internationals this summer and um, we're basically like bringing awareness about like coronary artery disease in like America and not only adults but adolescents and we're trying to really wear, raise awareness so that we can try preventing it at an early age and it's just been a really cool thing for me to do because I want to go pre-med so. I mean do you have any downtime at all? <laughs> <laughs> I actually do which is a Sounds surprising, but I do <laughs> love hanging out with my friends a lot. <laughs> Before you go, let me ask you, you're a graduating senior, so, so what's next for you? Where are you going and what are you going to do? Um, I'm committed to UT Austin. I'll be majoring in neuroscience and I'm joining this thing called Freshman Research Initiative, where basically I'm going to try getting more into my research endeavors and, you know, continue my pre-med pathway. So. Hopefully, that's how it stays. <laughs> that is great. Congratulations, Mahika Patton Carr, for all of uh, the awards, uh, for all of your hard work and what you've earned and accomplished. And appreciate you sharing some time with us today. Thank you so much for having me again. <laughs> Best of luck.